Hey everyone, it's your buddy Graphic back with another video and today we're going to be talking about 10 different tips that are going to help you out speedy and efficiently through the beginning steps of New World. So when you're leveling up 1, level 10, level 15, level 20, level 25, you're going to want to take these 10 steps and apply them in your gameplay. So we're going to start you guys off in this top 10 here in just a moment. So guys, we're back and we're going to jump into that top 10. So first off, you can see that number one is going to be all about skipping the New World tutorial if you guys do not want that shield. So if you guys skip the New World tutorial by pressing escape and going into the game menu, clicking skip to New World, you may want to do this. Uh, but you do, like I said, have to remember you will not receive your shield. Number two, make sure you are in light armor. As if you want to roll in New World, you will have to be in light armor, which is under the weight of 13. And we have really talked about how useful this is in PvP scenarios, but I do want to really mention PvE, this is going to be very, very helpful and efficient early on. You are going to be able to get around very, very quickly. And I'm not going to talk about the dodge roll cancel animation in this video because a lot of you guys have already heard about it. All you have to do when rolling is swap your weapons mid-roll and you will actually stop yourself from coming to a complete stop. So keep that in mind. We also have tip number three. So equip water in a character inventory usable slot. Using this consumable will actually help you heal and it's completely free. So water is something you can actually pick up by just going into water, a water area at all. And it actually just holds that uh, in a character slot and you can apply that on top of your already applied food and you'll actually heal up very, very efficiently. The lighter your weight in New World, by the way, tip number four, the less Azoth it'll cost you to fast travel. So this is a big one. So later on, you're going to have to use fast traveling quite a bit to get around very, very efficiently and quickly. Well, you want to be as lightweight as possible because that's going to make you use less Azoth when traveling. So if you need to travel somewhere and do not need to bring your heavy inventory items with you, try storing them in a storage shed in the settlement before fast traveling to save on that Azoth. That precious, precious Azoth is very, very important for efficient uh, leveling in the beginning of the game. Number five, you can actually dodge roll three times if you wait just a second or two after your first dodge. If you do not wait, you will only get two dodges. And this is with light armor and the light armor. Like I said, dodge rolls take about 50 stamina. So if you dodge roll once, you're going to be down to 50 left. And if you wait until it goes up to about 51, 52, you can dodge roll two more times in, uh, in really right in order. And I want to say this as well. Keep in mind that if you do go to zero stamina and it actually has to recover from zero to 100, you're actually going to go running at 90% speed instead of 100%, about 90%, I should say. So keep that in mind as well. Number six is going to be all about auto, run, auto running in uh, New World. So if you guys didn't know, the equal sign on your keyboard is going to start you in an auto run. Auto running is very, very useful. It's going to keep you very, very efficiently moving. And that's something you can actually do while you're looking around at your weapon skills, uh, your attributes, and your territory standing while running through a turnum. Unfortunately, you can't at this point in time look at your inventory slots. That may be a change that they make, but as of now, like I said, you can still look at your weapon skills, your attributes, and your territory standing while running through a turnum. Number seven, the first 50 constitution points you earn in your stat attributes will give you a 20% boost to all health consumables you take. This is a huge increase and can really come in handy in both PvE and PvP in New World. So keep that in mind as well. But the big thing here to note is you are going to need damage to efficiently run through New World. You're not going to be 1000% uh, just all in constitution and have no damage. So keep that in mind as well. But after that 50, you know, first 50 constitution points, you may want to stack some damage as well. And, you know, obviously that depends on if you are running a strength based weapon, intelligence based weapon or dexterity based weapon or focus based weapon. As we continue down, there's so much more to really talk about, but we're going to jump to just a few more at number eight. PVP turned on actually increases the XP by 10 percent. Open beta, it was at 10 percent closed beta at 5%. So they did buff that up recently. Do keep in mind though that obviously you are flagged and you can be killed and that can kind of slow you down as well. But if you are a very good PVPer and uh, you know that 10% sounds juicy to you, definitely take advantage of it and PVP flag in a settlement. When completing the daily mission faction quest, do the ones in the highest level region you can. The extra XP you get for the daily quest will scale higher in the higher level zones in New World. 
So this is tip number nine, and it's very, very important to take advantage of all three of those daily missions on your faction quests every single day. It's you know not going to be huge setback if you aren't able to get on one of those days, but it's just something that if you are able to get on, you should definitely take advantage of and go to the highest, like I said, region possible so that it can actually scale that bonus very, very well. We also have number 10. So when you are finding the blue lore pages all around New World, simply press 10, or sorry, not 10, but T, instead of the normal E interact button. This will immediately clear them, count your XP, and add them to your journal without needing to actually open and close the note. So this is very, very helpful to actually get through very, very quickly instead of, you know, I, I get kind of annoyed at that personally because I don't read the lore pages. So when I press E, I have to hit escape, I believe I hit, to, you know, get back out of there. All you have to do is actually press T to uh, to actually pick up that journal page, get the XP, and continue on your journey. Do make sure to actually pick up all these journal pages. That gives you great XP, definitely in the beginning of the game when, you know, it doesn't take much to level up. And lastly, I just wanted to talk about rested XP. This isn't really a tip for fast, you know, XP because this is something that takes you not playing the game. But let's say you have some kind of business trip or some kind of trip in general that you need to take for a day or two. It's very important that you jump into a settlement or town and uh, you know gain that rested xp while you're offline so all you have to do is log off while you're in a settlement or town you'll get that rested xp and to check your rested xp when you come back all you have to go do is go into your character attributes or attributes and you'll see a faded bar past your xp bar hover over it to see the details and you'll see exactly how much you have and ready to use thank you guys so much for tuning in i hope you guys have had a great day as we get closer and closer to the new world release i know all of us are very very excited if you have not already make sure to like the video subscribe to the channel turn notifications on if this helps you out and you think a friend could benefit from it make sure to share the video i really do appreciate the awesome support you guys i'll see you all in eternum